Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about the big news in our life and that is we are moving and I cannot be more excited. We are actually moving to the Charleston, South Carolina area. So if you guys are new here, we currently live in Kentucky and we've been here for almost eight years, which for us has been the longest we've ever lived anywhere throughout our, our entire marriage. So we decided last fall that we wanted to make the move this spring summertime to Charleston, South Carolina. And we've actually been wanting to live there for quite a long time. When we bought this house, we had actually wanted to move over there. We tried selling our house and then it took a year and it never sold. So we took our house off the market, the house before this. So if you guys have been with me for a while and you saw our old home and everything, then you know what I'm talking about. So then I got pregnant with Adeline, my youngest, my little three-year-old. And so we decided we would stay in our house for the time that I was pregnant and like have her. And then after she was a few months old, we put the house on the market and it sold right away. And by that time we had already decided we would just stay here. So we purchased this home. Now we've been living here for three years. Uh, we decided, okay, that we were financially able to make the move now and that we just, we were really excited. We just were wanting something different. We wanted to be by the beach again. You know, we had planned that we were gonna put our house on the market in the springtime. We were gonna take a trip out to Charleston and kind of like look around and just figure out like where we wanted to actually live in the area. And we got hit with the coronavirus. And so we were like, okay, we'll take a pause. We're not sure, you know, what's going to happen with the market. And we just, we had no idea. So we decided, okay, we're just going to kind of wait and see. And then we were hearing good news about like the market here, the market there, and that the interest rates were going really low. And so we were like, oh my gosh, this would be like perfect for us because there's not a lot of inventory here. So houses are selling super, super fast. We kind of live in a little bit more of a rural area. So a lot of people are kind of wanting to go in that direction if you know what I mean we ended up going to Charleston in June and when we were there we were looking around at different areas um, neighborhoods and different places that we would want to maybe settle and so we kind of had a good idea of where we wanted to live and then when we got back we had like a few more weeks where we were getting prepped to put the house up on the market and we put the house on the market and in like five days it sold so we were so excited because we we're like, okay, now we can really, really look at homes and buy something or put a contract on a home that we really like there. When it came to the time, I felt like we just couldn't find anything that really would fit us and that we really liked. And I didn't care if we had like a brand new home or a used home or, you know, resale, whatever. As long as it felt like it fit our family and it was, you know, good quality and obviously we always we always look for homes that if we did want to move that would sell like you know really fast or like people would really like we found a house that was currently being built we decided that was the house that we wanted and so we put money down on that house and reserved it for us and it was supposed to be finished in the end at the end of September and I'm going to insert pictures of the house that we're purchasing and we're going to be moving into you guys. I'll put them like here so you can kind of see as I'm talking what the house kind of looks like. And we're so excited. We actually, you probably think we're all crazy. We haven't even seen this house in person yet. Um, and we've bought a home before like this when we lived in Turkey and we had to buy a house when we moved back to the States. We did the same thing. But now we have like FaceTime and you know, videos and all pictures and everything like that. So it makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, we're those kind of crazy people. So basically we sold this house or got it under contract. We had the inspection on this house and that was pretty good. We had a few things that we were gonna have to fix. We just needed to wait for the appraisal. So we kept waiting and waiting for the house to get appraised and it never was getting appraised. So it was about a week out before we were supposed to close on this house and we still hadn't had the appraisal. So we kept kind of pushing our realtor and asking him like, okay, are, you know, we gonna have the appraisal? When is that gonna happen? Because it's kind of cutting it close. So he kept asking and they kind of just were kind of beating around the bush and not really getting to like the answer and we were a little confused at you know like why like this seems kind of weird it's off um and so this was like about a week before we got the phone call 
a week prior to us closing. So our realtor let us know that the buyers had some kind of weird deed problem from years ago and they were not going to be able to get their loan. And so we were really disappointed because, you know, we've, we had like, I don't know, 75% of our stuff packed up and we have like the, they're kind of like pods, but they're called, um, pack wrap, like containers to store your, um, belongings in for moving. And so we had like <laughs> almost two completely packed up. So we were like in the midst of getting the last things packed up and we were just like so let down just so let down and crushed and we're like okay because now we're thinking well now we have to take that news to our realtor in South Carolina and to the builders that are building our house and try to figure out if we can get it extended and we didn't think we'd have a problem getting it extended but we really wanted to make sure that we had a new buyer before we went to them with this information the home wasn't supposed to be finished until the end of september anyway so we were just like kind of praying to god please please let us get another buyer really really fast so that night we just finished packing up the rest of the things that we had laying around and just started to clean 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 and make sure everything was perfect because the next day we put it on the on the marketing we had in two days we had um eight bookings for showings and six showed up two canceled and in two days we were under contract again so we were just like so excited because we could take that information to um, the realtor and to the buy or builders at our house in South Carolina and let let them know that we have another buyer and everything so we were able to get our um, contract extended for a later closing date which we were ha happy about so we were like okay but now we have to go through this entire process once again and it's like if you guys know what it's like to to have all this stuff go on it's just kind of stressful so we got through the inspection and that was really good we had a few little minor things that we had to get like a few things fixed like super 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 inexpensive little things done and then we have the appraisal done so now we are just waiting to close and so everything so far looks good on the buyer's end to buy our house for their loan and everything like that and then everything looks good on our end to buy our house so we're just like ugh, we're itching to leave the new house that we're buying is a five bedroom home and it's a little over 3,000 square feet so it's just a little bit bigger than this house but the way that it's set up and this is how the space is used is a lot better than this house is for us. We really needed like a bigger kitchen um, and I'll post pictures of here of like the kitchen. Um, it's not all the way finished yet so I don't have like completely finished pictures and I'm hoping that once we move there I can do an empty house tour because I know everyone really loved when I did the empty house tour for this house. Um, I'm going to be very sad to leave this house because it is such a unique home and the property is so peaceful and um, everything but we realized that we really needed a more of a neighborhood environment for the kids and they needed to be able to make friends especially now because this year we decided we are going to be homeschooling the kids again we're doing an online program that is not with the public school system it's just something that we decided we would do on our own because it just was a lot easier to manage and we could figure out what curriculum we wanted so the house that we got i wanted double porches like i said that's like the one thing I need. I have to have double porches because it's like it's not Charleston, South Carolina home if it does not have double porches, right? The home that we're getting is actually um, painted in a historical Charleston color, which is so exciting. It's in the color peacock blue. And at first I was a little bit like, oh, I don't know. But after I saw it, it was just, it's so gorgeous, you guys. I just love the color so much. So in the neighborhood, they all have just like these beautiful colored homes like in downtown Charleston, which is really exciting. We needed to have a space that would work for Luke's office because he will be working from home. He's still going to have the same job that he has now, but he's able to work from home, which we're so grateful for. What we really loved about it was that the master was on the first floor because we just kind of want a little bit of separation now that the kids are a little older i don't have like a little baby or anything anymore so i don't feel like i need to be close by so we have the other four bedrooms upstairs with like a loft area 
and two bathrooms which is going to be perfect so we can have like one bathroom for the boys and one bathroom for the girls and it also has like a dining slash office area that we're planning on making into an office for Luke I think but I'm not sure yet we may make one of the bedrooms into the office I'm not sure how we're gonna do this yet because we need to make sure that it's quiet enough. And also, I, I'm not sure, but I might share an office with him. What we really liked too was the fact that the living room had a little bit of vaulted ceilings and um, there are doors that go out to a screen patio, which we really, really wanted was screen patio. I'm so excited to call the Charleston area our home and be able to like go to the beach and in our neighborhood we're going to have a lot of amenities which is going to be really nice to keep us busy we're going to get like a little outdoor swing set and slides and stuff like that we have a nice setback on the house so we have a good sized front yard as well which is really exciting i'm excited to be able to sit out on the porch you know in the front and just like watch the kids play and ride their bikes they'll have like cement that they can ride on that's about all that i have for the house update um hopefully i will be able to say like we've moved and be giving you a house tour how exciting is that you guys i'm so so excited to leave and start this new adventure in this new life so hopefully you guys are excited to come along and see the new house and the new places that we're going to be visiting and all of that. So thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for being patient with me. I know I haven't posted for a while. I actually have another video that I'm gonna be recording right after this and I think you're gonna love it. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy and that everything's working out for you guys with everything going on. I know there's a lot of sad situations and um, it's, it's not it's not a very happy time for some people so we will be keeping you all in our prayers and i hope you guys have a great week we'll see you later bye